G'day guys, Chris Eves here, your personal trainer. This is a quick instructional video on how to access your fitness evaluation results using the mobile phone browser. Now there's two ways to access your fitness evaluation results. One is on a printed report that I've stored against your client record, and I'll show you how to access that. Now that's not accessible from the mobile app, the Zen Planner app. Um, but then what is accessible from both the app and through the training hub is accessing each individual result one by one. So I'm gonna show you both for the mobile app and then I'll record another video to show you how to use the mobile app. So start by going to my website, chriseves.com.au and then uh, clicking on enter the training hub down here. So click on that. And the document itself, the printed report, is stored in your profile. Now if you haven't logged in, you need to log in as well. And when you do log in, uh, or if you don't remember your password, there is a forgot password link that you can use to reset your password. So do that. Once you've logged in, you'll see this screen here. And we want to go to my, my profile. So click on there. And then about halfway down the list or third from the top, you'll see documents. So what we want to look at is documents. Now there are several different types of documents stored there. Um, the one we're looking at is this one down here. It doesn't say fitness evaluation report, but it, would, it will have your name and the month and the year and it's a PDF document. So you click on that, your phone should open it up. I've downloaded it once already, so just replacing that file, and then it should open up right in front of you. Now you can rotate your screen if you want to to see that a little bit bigger, but that has all the results on there, um, starting with the time trial runs at the top, and it'll have, I'll just zoom in a little bit, depending on if this works with my screen recording software, and you can see there'll be the result um, from your first record and your second record. And in this case, I loaded some results back in January and then also again in December. So, and then you can um, see how you compare with each of those. So that's the first way of doing that. If you use your phone's um, back browser button or your phone's back button to get back to the screen where you downloaded the document from, and then use the home button, top left hand corner of the screen, this little home button, and that'll take you back to the home screen. Then if you wanted to look at the, each individual measure, say you wanted to look at how you were tracking over time and some of those, you look in the workouts area. Now you can see all different types of results in here. Um, you might be familiar with some of the ones that we've recorded. Uh, once you open the workout calendar, you go to progress and results just here. So we'll click on that. And then you wanna make sure that this is set to you. There's a couple of settings. You can see everyone in the gym. And if you had a quick look at the results down there and the, the categories that are there, you can see it shows you the best gym result and the gym average result. And if you've recorded a result for any of these. So you wanna make sure that you click on me, this button here. This will show you yours. Now the next thing you wanna set is um, what category we're looking at. So we want fitness evaluation. So you click on the drop down and down the bottom here, you'll see fitness evaluation. So we'll click on that. Oops, let me just go back. Um, so you'll see fitness evaluation. So we've got me selected there and fitness evaluation selected here. Then we scroll down and you can see what your personal record is in this column here, what your last result was, excuse the screen moving, uh, how many attempts you've had at that particular measure and how many days since you did it. Now I've only got one result for each thing loaded in the software, but just as an example, I'll show you the 4K time trial. We'll click on that. And if you have multiple results, it'll show you the dates and the results down in this area here. And then I believe once you've recorded, here we go, well, after you've recorded two or more measure results, this box will display a chart to help you map your progress. So you can see that there. Um, we'll go back one screen. Now the other thing that you can do, and if you wanna have a play around with it, and I will show you how to do it in another video, you can use this My Gym feature here, and you can see everyone's results. If you don't want your results to be visible by everyone, you need to let me know, and I can make sure that that happens at my end. But that's all I've got for now. We'll go back to the home screen here. So just a reminder, my profile is where your printed report is stored and workouts is where you can look at your individual results and you need to select your category. So that's all I've got for now on this video. I'll look forward to catching up with you in the next one. Say hi to my dog barking in the background. <laughs>